In these experiments, we will learn how to test the limits of surface tension while playing with bubbles. So get ready. First, we're going to create our own bubble mix. The materials you will need are a bowl or a bucket, water, dish detergent, a bubble wand, and if you don't have your own, you can make some with pipe cleaners. And the last two things you'll want are baking powder, and we're gonna use something called guar gum, but if you have corn syrup or glycerin, that will work just as well. First, pour water into your bowl or bucket and grab your straw. And all you're gonna do for this first part is just blow bubbles into your water. You will notice that the bubbles will form under the surface, but they will disappear once they reach this the This happens because the natural surface tension of water is too thick for the pocket of air, and the air molecules are lighter than the water molecules, so the air molecules will naturally rise, and the water molecules will bond back together. When the bubbles pop, the air will go back into the atmosphere. Now let's add dish detergent to the water. When we do this, we are creating a new solution that we're going to mix together that um, causes bubbles to exist over the surface tension of water. By adding detergent to the water, we've created a solution that has a much thinner surface tension. Now try blowing bubbles into our new solution. Now that we've learned a little bit about surface tension, we are going to test its limits by creating giant bubbles. Actually, to create larger bubbles, you are going to need a larger bucket and a larger wand. We've created ours with two large straws, basically, and very long pieces of rope. Let's add about a tablespoon of baking powder. Next, we are going to add about a tablespoon of guar gum, and if you don't have that, uh, corn syrup or glycerin should work just as well. Then we are going to add about three tablespoons of our detergent. Now add about 1,000 milliliters or roughly four cups of hot water to your mixture. Doesn't necessarily need to be boiling, but the hotter the better. Just using a whisk if you want to get it mixed really, really well. Now our solution is ready to go test outside. Now you guys have a solution that is going to create stronger and longer lasting bubbles. Because the water molecule bonds are a little bit weaker now, therefore the evaporation process will take a little bit longer.